Hey everyone, it's Ruby here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now in today's video, I will be sharing with you some of the most common makeup mistakes that people make that add years to your face. Now these makeup mistakes can make you look older than you actually are and they can really age your face, your eyes, your lips, everything. Like these are very, very simple things that you can change up in your routine, but they make the most difference in the way that you look overall. I just wanted to share with you some of the most common makeup mistakes that are very minute, that are very little, but can really change the way that you look. These tips that I'm about to share with you are really going to help make your face, your eyes, your lips look so much more youthful. People are not gonna have to second guess and be like, oh my God, is she really 24? I thought she was a lot older. Uh, so if you're interested in this video, then please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos with me. All right, let's get started. Now, a lot of men and women will experiment with makeup in their early teens, early 20s, and mid 20s, and they'll find a look that they love and they will stick to it. Now, a lot of women, myself included, tend to stick to a makeup look that they know makes them look and feel beautiful. We all have our go-to looks, we all have our go-to products, but there's one thing that we don't actually take into consideration. Over time, the inevitable happens, you age. And when you're looking at your face every single day in the mirror, you don't notice that change. It's when you look back a couple of years at old photos that you realize and you think, wow, I, my face has changed. A lot of women are carrying the makeup look that they wore in their 20s well into their 30s and their 40s, and sometimes it just doesn't work. So what do you guys say we start off with base and then kind of move our way around the rest of the face, like eyes, brows, lips, and cheeks, and all that? So let's start off with base, and the number one most detrimental thing that you can do on a daily basis to your skin is not applying a sunscreen or sun protecting factor underneath your makeup. There is no excuse these days when it comes to not using sunscreen because the science and the formulations have changed so much. You can now use a sunscreen and the makeup that you put on top not be affected. There is absolutely no excuse besides lack of knowledge about how harmful the sun is not only to our health but also the overall appearance of our skin. On to concealer and another makeup application trend that is going crazy all over Instagram and Facebook is applying like a shit ton of concealer underneath your eyes and then blending it out with like a sponge or a brush. Your eye area can't actually handle that amount of concealer realistically. You know, the skin underneath your eyes is super delicate and if you apply too much concealer close to the rim of your eye and not, you know, limiting it to this area right here where you actually need it because that's the darkest part of your eye area, then you're actually gonna cause a lot of creasage. As you can see, everyone has some sort of like natural wrinkles and creasage underneath the eye area. And when you apply a heap of concealer underneath, I don't even care if it says crease free, it's going to crease. And when you bake on top, it's going to look even worse. So you really wanna to stick to a minimal amount of concealer in the areas where you need it. If you do apply too much concealer, then what you can do is take a Q-tip and just run this close to the rim of your eyes to remove the excess product. A light dusting of powder also works really, really well. And if you find that your under eye area is still dark, then you should consider using a small amount of corrector to neutralize the darkness underneath your eyes and then pop on your concealer, followed by a light dusting of powder. Let's talk about setting your makeup. Now, if you're somebody with mature skin, if you set your makeup with powder, it can actually emphasize your fine lines, also the peach fuzz on your face. So an easy way to set your makeup without powder is to use a setting spray. I have peach fuzz, my mum has peach fuzz, my best friend has peach fuzz. Whether you have blonde hair naturally or dark brown hair naturally, everybody has those little hairs on their face. And for some people, this makes them look a lot older than they actually are, and it adds texture to your skin. So what you wanna do is, I'm gonna give you two options. The first one is, when you are applying your base makeup, apply your makeup in a downwards motion to help flatten the hairs so you're not picking them up and emphasizing them. You also wanna apply a minimal amount of powder so you don't emphasize these hairs. Now my favorite method is to take a regular razor and shave your face. No, the hair on your face will not grow back thicker. I'm not even kidding, shaving my face changed my life. It makes my face look a lot younger. My makeup applies so much smoother on my face. Like I can't 
tell you how much of a difference it makes. Onto the eyes, now let's talk about eyeliner. Now when we're young, we often take a black coal liner and just rim our eyes and then we're done. It defines the eyes, it makes our lashes look a lot fuller. I know a lot of girls in my high school, they wouldn't wear any eyeshadow, just rim their eyes with a black coal and lots of mascara. But as we get older, our eyes start to change. And most importantly, you have to note that the whites of our eyes tend to discolor and go a little bit more on the yellow side. This can be both with age or a decline of health. So you really need to pay attention to the color of your eyes because it also tells you if you have any health problems that you need to be aware of. A lot of women, when they get to a certain age, they don't like to wear black, they will use a brown liner or brown eyeshadows instead. But this actually makes the yellows of your eyes appear more yellow. It enhances them and what you wanna do is make the whites of your eyes appear whiter and brighter because that is very, very youthful. One way you can do this is by reaching for a gray or a charcoal pencil or eyeshadow. It will still define your eyes, but it won't look as heavy as black liner does. As you get older, your responsibilities increase. You have a mortgage, children, maybe even grandchildren. And getting the required amount of sleep can be quite difficult. So you have a lot more redness in and around your eyes. So an easy and quick way to help make your eyes look a lot brighter is to rim them using a very light or white eye pencil. Now you can use a light blue or even a flesh tone color like this one, or even white if you really want that bright eyed, bushy tailed look as well. Overdrawn lips are trending as well. I'm somebody who likes to overline their lips. It helps to add volume and lift, but they need to be done right in order for your lips to look young and natural looking. Most people, and I see this online and sometimes I am guilty of this myself, and they are overdrawing from the outer corner of the mouth all the way around to the cupid's bow. Look at an infant's lip, like a little baby's lips, and you will see what I mean. The inner corners are very little and very thin, but as you kind of work your way up to the center of your lip, they are quite full and quite pillowy, and that's what you want to mimic. You want to mimic a baby's lips because that's how your lips are naturally. Natural lips taper out on the outer corners and they are more pillowy and a lot more voluptuous towards the center of the mouth. So it's really important that you keep this in mind when you're overdrawing your lips the next time you sit down and do your makeup. And that's it guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's do's and don'ts inspired video. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up, it always helps. If you have any questions or comments on anything that I shared with you in this video, then please leave it in the comments section down below and we can have a chat about it. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. So if you don't see me as much as you'd like to on here, be sure to hit my social accounts because I am on there every single day chatting to you guys, replying to your direct messages and your Snapchats. So I look forward forward to chatting to you guys on there. My new viewers, please hit that subscribe button down below or on the screen right here so you can subscribe and stay up to date with future videos. I love you guys and I look forward to seeing you in my video later on this week. Bye!